Hey, what's up everybody? This is a video to show off what I got in the mail today. This box here is from ToysRUs.com. It actually is the first box of two. I'm expecting a package to arrive later next week or the week after that early. Um, also from ToysRUs.com. This is also a video to show off the stuff I picked up at Target and Walmart today. So let's get to the unboxing of the Toys R Us haul here first. <clears throat> Let's see. First up here, Iron Man Mighty Mugs. Only at Toys R Us. This is my first Mighty Mugs figure. I've always wanted to get one, and I've never really seen one that was you know cheaper than what it goes for retail. I think retail is about eleven or twelve dollars. So I bought it for the full price, but I don't know. It was it was my first one. This is my first Mighty Mugs. And looks pretty cool. So next up, we got some Marvel figures, Marvel Universe Captain America, which I don't think I've seen in stores. That's one of the reasons why I decided to pick it up from ToysRUs.com. Basically, they were having a free shipping if you order one hundred dollars or more in product. And the reason that came about was because I wanted to pre-order Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Prime and another Dark of the Moon Human Alliance basic figure. I think Ice Pick is the name of the figure. Uh, but anyways, that's how this whole thing came about. Is, uh, anyway, so here's Colossus, another fantastic figure. I had seen this at a Toys R Us once, but I wasn't in the buying mood for Marvel figures at the time, and I had not seen it since, so I decided to, to order it off of uh, ToysRUs.com. And I think what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to take a look at my Marvel Legends Toy Biz figure, which I still have, you know, mint and package. It's, it's not open at all. And kind of see if I can compare the articulation. I think it's pretty similar, which is what really impresses me about these new latest waves of Marvel Universe figures. Uh, okay. Big package here. This is Spider-Man. Scorpion Stinger. This is Venom. This is the Venom that has the scorpion tail at that you can plug into the back of uh, the figure. I've always been a big Venom fan. I don't think I've ever mentioned that in my reviews or blogs or whatever. Big fan of Venom. I like Venom a lot. And uh, this looks to be a uh, you know pretty nice sculpt. They're pretty detailed as you can see. So. Here's a action shot in the back. Pretty cool. You can see the stinger right there. <clears throat> and some of the other figures in the wave. Um, uh, Carnage. I like Carnage too. I like the symbiotes. Yeah, basically. And last in this Toys R Us box is... I've always wanted to get one of these. These are uh, Speed Stars, Transformers, Stealth Force. What happens is you press a button and it pops out with different uh, weaponry as you can see here. So I've always wanted to get one of these. I know it's not technically a transformer, but eh, you know, I had to I wanted to find something to buy, you know, to to uh, go over the $100 uh, spending thing. So I got this. Now, on to the shopping toy hauls here from Walmart. I picked up this Wolverine and Silver Samurai comic pack. Silver Samurai looks fantastic. I watched uh, FX Friends' review and was immediately sold on this figure. Fantastic. I'm just looking at it in the box. There were three of these and on one of them I noticed the red was bleeding over into the silver which, was, which is not good. And on the other two I think the, the color of the chin there you know, the, the tan or the light tan or the, you know, the skin tone color was bleeding into the silver. So you got to watch out for that, especially with the red. You don't want to have this nice design to have a paint app problem on it. And of course, Wolverine, which actually, this may be my first Wolverine figure, especially on this scale. I think I have a couple of Wolverine figures uh, on the Marvel Legends Toy Biz scale, which I actually have not opened, but this is my first Wolverine in the three and three-quarter scale. 
Next up, I went to Target. And again, I was not intending to buy the figures in this bag. I was more looking for Dark of the Moon Transformers that were put out on the shelves before the actual release date. But what I got is... Dun, 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 dun. Don't laugh, this is a Thor figure. This is probably the only Thor figure I will ever get. But I saw this guy in person, this Frost Giant, and it looks really detailed, really fantastic looking. And it's got some nice ice weapons, it's, you know, some weapon effects. Um, as you can see back here, this is probably the only Thor figure I will pick up. The rest of the line, I'm not interested in. I've seen them several times, and i just never been interested. Except for this one, obviously for this guy here. All right, two more figures in this bag. Green Lantern. Why did I pick this up? Well, as you can see, the weapon or the construct and the figure itself is constructed entirely of this lime green translucent plastic. So, let me adjust the, see if I can get the better picture for you. There we go, I had too much light there. Translucent weaponry construct here. Uh, translucent green figure as you can see. And look at the back of the packaging. And again, I'm not going to collect a whole lot of these. Again, I was just... Oh, it has a power ring, as you can see there. Cool. I can wear that to work or something. Alright, so last one. <laughs> this is Green Lantern Battle Shifters. Instantly transforms. Uh, these run you about $13, these run you about $8. It's, you know, you've seen this before with Iron Man or with a Thor, the larger packs run you around $13. But this, as you can see, the figure there is oddly colored, although in a way it kind of works for me. It's not the, not the really the traditional dark green. It's actually a lime green with, of course, black. And if you look at the back here, you can see the this could becomes this basically and most likely I'll be reviewing these two guys or at least this guy and, and one of the other figures uh, right after I make this video so but if, if you don't watch the review uh, you can just get a look at the packaging now as you can see here maybe there's like a folder like a manila folder it almost kind of reminds me of the uh, Hammer Files with the Marvel Universe figures, but this thing is huge. It's like, uh, I don't know, probably like four by six inches. So it'll be interesting to open this up. And of course in the review I'll be doing, I'll show you that all, but Green Lantern Battle Shifters uh, Blade Attack Hal Jordan. Alright, this has been my unboxing and toy haul and just kind of showing off what, you, what I got today. Thanks for watching.